welcome or welcome back. My name is Alex and this is Budget Me Alex. I am a 30 year old all cash budgeter. I am on a journey to be completely debt free as well as I do have some pretty big savings goals. So if you're interested in this kind of content, just go ahead and continue watching. You guys, this is probably the third time I've tried to film this intro. I feel like I've been so inconsistent with my videos that I kind of even forgot what I usually say. But yeah, I, I'm so sorry. I know that I've been posting less and less and I did mention to you guys in a previous video, I've been dealing with some health complications and it kind of just took a little bit of a toll on me, not gonna lie. Um, but I've just been, you know, trying to just be like positive about the whole thing. I've been praying my way through this whole situation and, you know, the devil doesn't know what he doesn't hear. So as long as I am continuing to speak life and healing into my body and into my mind, I know that God is going to come through for me. He said he healed all my diseases and he took all my infirmities. So that's what I'm holding on to. And I am filming this on the day that I'm posting, which is Saturday. And... I'm not gonna lie you guys, the month of February just totally kicked my butt. It was a really, really hard month for me. It was probably the hardest month since I started feeling this way, which was like in November, December. And I'll probably give a little bit more details later on just because I am expecting this to be a testimony for me, like a really good testimony for me. So it's not that I think that I'm not gonna get healed from this. It's not that I think this is going to be lifetime or anything like that. I just know that God is going to heal me and I'm waiting for that testimony to come. But I do thank God that he provides testimonies within the trial still. And ever since Wednesday, I started to feel really, really great. And then towards the night, I kind of started to feel, you know, a little bit like the same again. And Thursday, Friday, and so far today on Saturday, I just thank God I have not had any single issue and I want to cry just because I've been feeling like this since November, you guys, and it's been really hard for me, um, but I just thank God he's just still so good. Even throughout all of this, I still have seen his goodness in every situation as dark as it might look sometimes. I know that God's going to come through for me. So that's my little thing for <laughs> the beginning. I'm sorry if I'm taking up a little bit more time, but I do wanna make sure that I finally post the giveaway in this video just because it has been way overdue. I'm finally feeling a little bit more like myself. I'm feeling a little bit better. And I wanna make sure that I finally get that out for you guys because you guys deserve it. You've been so supportive in so many ways, like so many ways you guys don't even know. So I will be announcing that later in the video. So just go ahead and stay tuned. Today we will be stuffing a total of $905. I have not been stuffing. I actually missed last week, which might throw me off, but I kind of okay with it just because I do get five paychecks in the month of March, or at least the way that I break it up. I do get paid bi-weekly, but I split it up into weekly checks just so that my money lasts longer. So I will be able to make up what I didn't stuff. So um, let's go ahead and get started with the count. We have one, two, 300, 350, 400. 420, 40, 60, 80, 500, 520, 40, 60, 80, 600, 620, 40, 60, 80, 700, 7, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 800, 8, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, so we're at 880, 885, 60, 65, 70, 70, so no, 880, 885, 890, 895, 900, 905. How in the world did I start to subtract instead of add? Okay, so I don't have anything left over in here. Um, I haven't been paying attention to my money, if I'm totally honest with you guys. I've been spending a lot on like fruit and detox stuff and supplements and things like that. So it's all going to, you know, like a good place. I haven't just been blowing my money, but I haven't been keeping track of it either, which at the same time, like makes me a little bit anxious. So we are restarting. We're starting fresh. We're going to get it right. $50 towards gas. So let's see here. You guys know, like if you're a cash stuffer, like you stick to this on a weekly basis you keep track of your money like crazy if you miss a little bit you know it kind of throws you off and you know you kind of just roll with it fifty dollars for groceries and fifty dollars for eating out 
uh, you kind of just roll with it, but at the same time, it's like, ugh. it almost feels a little bit messy trying to get back to where you were, but it's okay. We can get back on track. Personal gets 20. And buffer gets 10. A very ugly 10, so we might end up using this one for sure. Oh my gosh, it doesn't even fold right. Okay. So that is it for my weekly wallet. Let me stick that right there. And we are jumping into bills. Again, I didn't stuff anything and it was technically my first paycheck of the month. So I should have restarted fresh on my bills and stuff, but we are doing that now. 135 goes to Mazda. I just got tired of pulling out four ones for just this one. So we're just rounding up to 135. Car insurance gets $40. I am looking for a different insurance provider, hopefully one that will give me a cheaper quote. I'm currently with Geico. I've been with Geico for, gosh, several years. I can't even tell you how many. It's been a long time. Um, so I'm going to try to see if they can either lower my premium or if they won't, then I'm going to try to find someone and then I'll let the two kind of battle it out. 50, 100, 150, 200. I currently have in life insurance, so I actually need to deposit that because it will be drafted on the 11th. Verizon gets 35. Subscriptions get 30. Rent gets two fifty, and then all my utilities get ten dollars each. The last phase of my complex finally closed out, so I should be seeing a little bit of a decrease in my HOA fees. I keep that separate with like separate money. Um, I do pay that every single month. Obviously, I have to, but that's just something that I just like to all at once kind of just dump in there. So I don't usually count that, but I do have HOA fees and I usually always end up paying that with like separate money that I get. But um, hopefully we will be seeing a decrease, like a little bit of an adjustment in my HOA fees because the last phase finally closed. So I'm just hoping that like it ends up being a lot better. $30 currently in electric. Gas gets 10, so $30 as well. Water gets 10 as well. So we have 10, whoops. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. I don't know where that random 20 came from. And internet gets 10, so we are at 10, 20, 30. Okay, so let's jump into my high priority slash long term. I haven't been putting anything in here, you guys. Um, yeah, I really don't have any explanation for that. We're just gonna move on. Emergency gets $20, so we are currently at 40. like when I don't keep track of my money I don't usually know what's going on with it and that's a little bit frustrating but this month like honestly January through now I kind of just went through what I had to go through and we're gonna get back on track with our stuff eventually but I wasn't too worried about it buffer gets 10 so we're at 10 20 30 40 50 Nothing for YouTube just yet. Actually, for now that we're here, I guess this is a perfect opportunity to announce the giveaway. So I wanna thank you guys so much for 10,000 subscribers. Still unbelievable. I honestly, I have no idea how we even got there, but I'm just so thankful that we did. Thank you guys so much for being so supportive. I told, that is literally a popcorn kettle. What in the world? 
sorry. I'm just so thankful for you guys and the support that you've had since literally day one. So here's a giveaway. Since it's 10,000 subscribers, I do want to make sure that it is a good one. I don't have exactly all the details of what I'm putting in the giveaway, but I do want to make sure that it's a good one because 10,000 is a huge number. So I decided what I wanted to do was create a basket and I would put all my favorites and actually a lot of my favorites. I don't know if all, but I'll put in some favorites that I have. So it could be like a water bottle, a gift card to one of my favorite places. Um, I will be sure to put in some of these as well that I sell in my Etsy shop. I will like, I'm going to end up putting a lot of stuff in there, probably like a personal development book that I'm really into right now, maybe something else like one of my favorite like Christian reading books, things like that. So it's going to be a good one. Trust me, guys, it's going to be a really good one. And I'm going to leave this open. I will. Let's see. I'm going to post it today on Saturday. I have another video on Tuesday as a little bit of a reminder. And I guess I'll show you guys or Tuesday or Wednesday, one of those days. Don't hold me to either one, but it's for sure gonna be Tuesday or Wednesday that I'm gonna post another video. And I'll give you guys a full list exactly of what it is. And I'm gonna close it out on Friday and I will announce the giveaway winner on Saturday. What day is that? Um, Saturday the, let's see one Saturday from today, literally next Saturday's video. I don't have a calendar on hand right now, but that's when I'm going to announce it. So it will close out that Friday. I will put the details on the screen because I don't have a calendar in front of me, but I will put those details for you guys so you can fully see. The giveaway rules, you must be publicly subscribed like this video and since this is 10,000 subscribers and I am posting a giveaway you know usually when you announce a giveaway you get people from all kinds of places suddenly you go from like 10 to 15,000 subscribers so I did want to make sure that I posted something more like my you know faithful faithful subscribers would know or remember so what I want you guys to leave in the comments for me one leave an emoji with the little like praying hands i guess just as a really just as a thank you um and then also comment something you know some random fact that you guys know about me i've done several q and a's and i talk about honestly i talk about myself all the time I feel like sometimes it's a little too much, but I want you guys to get to know me. I really love feeling like we're just a whole community of like friends here. So name a fact about me or an experience that I've talked about or, you know, one of my previous testimonies that I've mentioned on my channel or just something about me that you guys know, because I don't know, I feel like that would just be kind of cool to do. And then spring is approaching. Let me know what you guys are looking forward to during this new season. One thing I'm not looking forward to are the allergies, not gonna lie, like I really am dreading that part, but I'm so excited for the sunshine. I'm so excited for it feeling like a fresh start. I'm excited to spring clean. I'm excited for all of that. So if you guys, I'm gonna list all the rules again and I'm gonna put it on the screen. I'm gonna put it in the description and I will be announcing the giveaway, the giveaway winner next Saturday, okay? So that is the like whole breakdown for the giveaway. If I was kind of all over the place, I'm sorry. But yeah, that's gonna be it. And I'm excited. I'm really excited about it. It's gonna be a good one, you guys, I'm telling you. I plan to make it really good because I feel like you guys just really deserve it. You guys have been so patient with me. You guys have been so supportive throughout this whole thing and I'm just so grateful for you guys. So let's move on with the cash stuffing. Car maintenance gets $10. So we are at 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. My dad actually did tell me because this is for new tires. I need all four new tires. My dad recently told me he was actually going to help purchase those for me. So God bless him. That is a very expensive thing to do, so I'm very excited about that. Car registration gets $5. We are at 20, 25, 30. And I had to kind of condense some of these because I had to kind of be like my own bank recently, so that's why I see some different numbers. Um, but yeah, I don't, um, honestly, any chance 
that I get where my parents like really want to make sure. And obviously I insisted, I said, no, you know, it's my car, I'll pay for it. Like you don't have to worry about it. And he's insisting that he helps me pay for my tires. So, you know, I might be 30 years old, but if your parents offer you help, I'm gonna take it. Thank God for them. Thank God that I have parents who are willing to help me. I know not everyone has that. I know not everyone has family that is able to kind of like drop everything and be there or support you financially with certain things or anything like that. And I trust me, I know I'm so blessed to have that. And I thank God every day for my family. We did say one thing. I remember one time my sister and I were recently talking. We're like, you know, we might be too much sometimes. Like sometimes it might be a little too close and we see each other way too often, like more often than other people. But at the same time, we're just so thankful that we know that no matter what you go through, there's always gonna be someone that is gonna be there for you and you don't have to worry about it. Oh shoot, my car broke down, somebody help me. We know somebody's gonna just drop everything and just be there. My sister like, oh shoot, like last minute, I need a babysitter. We know somebody's gonna drop something and be there. Financially, like, hey you guys, I'm struggling with this. I don't have any enough. Everyone's gonna be there to pitch in. And I just thank God so much for them as well. And they've been so supportive in so many ways as well with all of my channels and everything like that and all these new endeavors. And I just pray that, you know, for whoever doesn't have that, it doesn't have to be family. It can be friends that feel like family. It can be a church group. It can be, you know, a church group where you feel like you've been adopted in. It can be anything. I just pray that everyone has someone because I can't even imagine how hard it would be to not have that. And so if you don't have someone, I just pray that someone comes into your life and you guys have somebody that can do that for you as well. So that's just my little thing. I don't even know where I went off with that, but that was kind of just on my mind. I'm gonna put $20 towards my mini challenge. <clears throat> so we are currently at 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 96. We are almost one third of the way, which is very exciting. It's one reason I love mini challenges because I feel like you get there so fast. And honestly, you guys, the biggest number on here is $30. So thank you, Jess. Love this challenge. Miscellaneous, let me get my notebook actually. Kinda lost track here with my budget. Miscellaneous gets $20. Um, my boyfriend's birthday was on Thursday. He did want to go out to breakfast and then we went to like Bass Pro Shops, his favorite store in the world. Um, if anybody knows him, they know his entire life revolves around fishing, hiking, camping, shoot, like going to the range. I just don't know what I can say on here, <laughs> but um, let's see, health gets 10. Anything outdoor? What happened to my envelopes? Like, when did this happen? <gasps> Why did they wrinkle up like that? They haven't even been around heat or anything. Ooh, that's weird. Um, anything outdoorsy and like adventure like, he's there. So, Bass Pro Shop is like heaven on earth for him. So, we went there. He got some new things. Let's see, travel gets $10. And then he needed some new shoes, so we went there. And then at night, his family celebrated with a little cake for him. So yeah, he had a very chill birthday. Travel gets 20, sorry, travel gets 10. It has 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 91, 92, 93. He turned 29. This is the only little time span where we're only a year apart because I am two years older than my boyfriend. Trust me though, it does not feel like it. I always feel like he's older than me in so many ways and I'm so appreciative for that. Family gets 10. We are currently at 10, 15, 20. And then his whole family has like a bunch of his family has birthdays in March. Let's see, grandparents get five. Sorry guys, I'm looking at my budget sheet. 
20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 for grandparents. So he has twin siblings. Their birthday is actually coming up this weekend. And then his aunt, like he has so many family members this month that have birthdays, <laughs> but it's really fun. I feel like it's the month that everyone kind of gets to just all hang out together. My grandma's birthday is this month, um, 10, 15. We're currently having gifts. And so it's just a good time. Christmas, I am actually putting something towards Christmas today. We are putting $10, which honestly, you guys, with the fact that I haven't been keeping track of my budget really, I think, oh, I don't want to, but I think I might have to start fresh with my stuff. I kind of want to rearrange some envelopes here. We'll see. 10, 20, 25, 30, 35. I mean, come on. I only have 35 in here. I could take this out and use it for something else if I absolutely had to. We're going to see though. We're going to play around with some numbers and see where we end up. Holidays gets five. So we are at five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay. That is all for today's video. I know I was very chatty. Sorry about that. I feel like I just haven't posted in so long that to me, it just feels like a little bit of a catching up kind of day, like a little bit of a phone call. You know what I mean? So yeah, thank you guys so much. If you watched all the way to the end, I really, really, really appreciate you. Please don't forget the giveaway. It will officially be open today. I am closing it out this coming Friday and it will be announced on Saturday. So I'm giving a week. There's going to be a lot of submissions. I most likely will not be responding to the majority of these messages because I know that they're going to be completely flooded. But I will try to like, you'll know if I read it, if I just like liked all of them, I might put like a little bit of emoji or something like that. But I'm telling you guys right now, I know for sure, like it's going to be a lot. And <laughs> so if I don't send you like a full response, just know I am reading them. It just takes a lot more time to respond to them. So I will be opening it today closing it on friday announcing it on i mean yeah announcing the winner on saturday and then somewhere in the middle of the week i'm going to do a little bit of a reminder post but this is the original post that you guys want to comment on and i will make sure to say that on the next video as well so thank you guys so much i really appreciate you guys and i will see you all this week <laughs> bye <music>